New Galante Academy is a new liberal arts college in the country of Georgia. It's based on the great books program in St. John's College in Annapolis, but that's not all it is because it's really a new liberal arts college designed to revive and re-inspire the intellectual tradition of Georgia as it comes from Galante Academy. So that's why it's named New Galante. The method of studying in the New Galati is traditional and untraditional at the same time. But what is different from the other kind of studying is that, that we students and uh, tutors are students of the great authors, such as Plato, Aristotle, Federalis, and Nazar. New Galati is a liberal arts college in the sense that its purpose is actually to make people free. So it's not, we don't approach liberal arts just as humanities, just as training future scholars. We are intent on training future leaders and managers. And so the intention is whatever there is that you need to know in order to be free in today's society, whether that's mathematics or science or how computers work or how business works, we have a program which is designed to train you to know those things. Now, we also concentrate the program, as St. John's does, around the Great Book Seminar. So our view is that you need to learn the unexpected. You know, if you're in a job where other people are going to be telling you what to do, in a sense, you don't need to know how to expect the unexpected because when the unexpected happens, you simply go to your boss and your boss tells you what to do. But if you're the leader, you're the one that people are going to turn to when the unexpected happens. And how do you do that? You have to learn those things that are, in a sense, the eternal questions. That's what, where the Great Books program comes in more than anything else, because there, we view that there's a certain set of fundamental questions that human beings have learned. And what we read are the books which, over the years, everyone has come to agree are those books in which the fundamental questions are most clearly discovered and articulated. And the students are taught to enter into a powerful conversation with the authors of those great books. <laughs> Laboratory course is fascinating. It's very important to understand fundamentals of science, to be able uh, to think freely in every area of our life. Uh, so understanding the great books is very difficult without uh, class discussion and asking questions is very important and students are always inspired out of classes and also tutors. New Galati program is very unusual and interesting for us because uh, in Georgia there is no programs like this. I'm very happy that I had a chance to study a New Galati program. It's very different, it's very interesting. The goal of our teachers is to make us leaders. Leaders need to be well educated and we'll try to do it. I wish that we have a very successful future. <laughs> program is uh, very different from other programs. We are on the business course, but we learn not only economics, but almost all subjects. Philosophy, great books, 
um, economics, uh, computers, and uh, etc. And uh, they are very interesting for us. Um, I'm sure this program will be successful too in Georgia, and a lot of people will get involved in it. New Galatia Academy is a truly extraordinary place. And what makes it wonderful? It's the books, the truly great books, which help us gain a really important skill of thinking critically, intellectually, and deeply. Studying for me has never been so pleasant, fun, and uh, fruitful at the same time. And uh, at th this point, New Galati Academy reminds me of a Greek word for school, skole, which means the leisure. And I truly believe that this kind of education has a great chance of becoming really prestigious in my country. New Galati is, uh, for me, it's a learning community. It's a thinking community. Um, it's a listening community. Um, and well, I, I think I think I really have to give credit to my students who um, who braved all the difficulties and enrolled in our programs. Um, by difficulties, I mean they're not really fluent in English, and they were not really they didn't really expect that kind of education to fall on their heads. Uh, but they braved all this, and they have um, grown a lot during this. Um, you know, a couple of months really, and uh, they have um, they have changed a lot. They have changed as humans, as human beings. They have changed as thinkers, um, and you can feel that they um, acquired a lot of appreciation of um, of books, of education, of human relationships, um, and um, I'm really happy about it. King at the time of Georgia, David the Builder, founded a liberal arts college, the f one of the first liberal arts colleges in the world at the time. It was actually based on the seven liberal arts. And David the Builder, at the time it was founded, said that this academy was to be New Jerusalem and New Athens. In other words, it was to be an institution that would unite faith and reason, or theory and practice. And that's really what New Galati Academy now is about. <clears throat> it's not just liberal arts seen as humanitarian or scholarly learning. It's a training for people who will be free, training for people who will take their place as managers, leaders, people who will do things like founding businesses, going into politics.